Dobar dan svima. Evo, za one koji me ne znaju, moje ime je Ivona Žagar i radim u kombisu na, evo, možemo reći, razvoj ovako atraktivnih poslovnih rješenja, koje će, jedno od takvih rješenja ćemo predstaviti danas sa ovom prezentacijom. Radi se o Wolfram matematici. Vjerojatno, većina vas je, ako ne kasnije, makar na fakultetu čula za pojam matematika, za nekakav pametni software matematika, u kojeg možeš utipkati apsolutno sve, izračunati sve integrale, sve derivacije, svašta nešto. Nešto jako pametno. Niste svi na PMF Niste morali ići na PMF da, da, da koristite matematiku. U Hrvatskoj on, ja mislim, apsolutno sva se učilišta danas koriste taj software u nekim. A na kraju krajeva matematika je na svakom fakultetu razprava stranja. Wolfram Research je tvorac softvera Wolfram Matematika koji već evo, bilježi nekakav konstantni rast, recimo 25 godina i iako je prvenstveno počeo zauzimati mjesto u akademskim ustanovama, vrlo, vrlo brzo i sigurno se proširio u sve grane industrije. Tako danas, recimo, softver i neke njegove modifikacije koriste financijske institucije, koriste aktuari, koriste bankari, koristi se u ekonometriji, ekonomiji, financijskoj matematici, za analizu rizika itd. Čak sam pročitala jednu statistiku da 100% najvećih, 50 najvećih kompanija, barem u jednom segmentu svog poslovanja, da bi održali nekakvu konkurentsku prednost, koriste neki od modula ovog softvera. Danas ćemo predstaviti jedan od takvih modula koji ispod sebe ima bazu upravo tu famoznu matematiku o kojoj smo pričali. To je Wolfram Finance platforma. Ja neću ovaj, pričati o tome jer iskreno i ne znam toliko puno više od toga što sam rekla, neke možda još doradne stvari. Zato je tu sa mnom kolega Ryan Anderson iz Wolfram Researcha. Kompanija ima središte u Americi, međutim podjednako je rasprostranjena po svim ostalim kontinentima. Konkretno Ryan dolazi iz Engleske. Ryan je Business Development Manager i danas tijekom prezentacije, na kraju prezentacije tijekom eventa, možete ga pitati apsolutno sve što vas bude interesiralo. E, također znate, vjerojatno već je neko spomenuo, da imate e, upitnike koje, možete, koje morate popuniti na kraju eventa, pa vas molim, ukoliko vam ova prezentacija bude interesantna, samo zakružite da želite možda dodatno predavanje, dodata nekakav call call sa Rajanom i njegovom ekipom, putem maila, putem video linka, kako god spojit ćemo se, kontaktirat ćemo ih i onda ćemo po potrebi održati neku dodatnu, možda više tehničku prezentaciju. Pa evo, ja bih sad ovaj, pozvala Rajana. Rajan, please. Rajan, please. Okay. <laughs> I think this works. Good morning. Um, so I recognized um, a few words. I recognized, um, uh, Ivona, when you spoke, I recognized Wolfram, Mathematica, Ryan Anderson, Business Development Manager. Da? So I, uh, I, I have, yeah, I have three, my, my vocabulary uh, in your language is three words. And I was able to use them all this morning because basically, um, due to circumstances beyond our control, this is not exactly what was going to happen. So the first thing was, uh, I, I have to say, Kai? Okay, so you can see, My hands are a little bit shaking because um, this is not the exact format. So I hope that all of you are normal, regular people like me, okay? Because um, I'm not a super technical person. I was going to come up and say something and then my colleague was going to connect through wonderful technology and show you things. And he's the guy who's a physics graduate, etc. I'm a teacher in the past. So I'm telling you this because when you don't see me doing amazing things, it's because something happened this morning that has changed everything. So thank you for your patience. Um, and the important thing here is, uh, I mean, does anybody actually know Mathematica? Does anybody use it already? You're allowed to, I know I can see two hands, two hands, three, three, four, five hands, five hands. Thank you, sir. Okay, so, so basically, our software is used all over the world by everybody. That's the, the general way of, of saying what we do. Um, I apologize for my voice. If I sound like Barry White, I have a little bit of a something from the airplane. So basically, um, yeah, we're used all over the world in every industry. Um, academia, a lot. We like to prepare people and 
get them going out into the real world with a, a knowledge of our software and how it is relevant in their fields of study. Um, a nice pattern for you there from my laptop. But basically, what I'm going to do is show you, um, I have the presentation that you would have seen, but I can't give you all of the explanations what, as what you would have heard. Okay? If you like what you see and what you hear, then we always want to talk with you again. Okay? The important thing is our software, we could talk for one day and not even cover the surface because it's so complicated. Uh, it's complicated in what it can do. It's not complicated in, in how to use. Okay? Uh, it depends you know, if you have a certain knowledge of some languages, etc. But even then, some people can build things for you. Your colleagues who, who do understand how to write the code that I can't write can do things for you and then it can do everything. So, so basically, you yourself do not need to understand everything about the how, okay? Uh, what you want is the why. Why should I even be interested in, in using this software? Well, the reason is we see that there's a problem in the world with uh, technology. Um, so we have uh, a number of solutions that we offer. Each of them has its area where it is strongest. So obviously, finance platform is our, do you mind if I put my hands in my pockets and I, and I walk like this? Uh, finance platform is um, built on top of Mathematica, okay? Mathematica is the engine that fuels everything that we do. It uses a language that we call the Wolfram language, um, and it uses functions, basically, to tell it what to do. Um, does anybody here use functions for anything? No? Good. So I think I might be talking to people who are more like me than, than my colleague who was going to talk to you. The important thing is you want software that is going to make your job easier. It's going to give you data now or as soon as possible. And that's the sort of thing that we can do for you. As I say, I can't tell you everything today, but we have people who can. All right, so please do not think that you didn't see everything uh, that you needed to hear because there is more to the story. Okay, this is just a short version. So, finance platform, obviously the intention is that it, it meets a certain market, uh, banking and insurance. Um, and of course, anybody who really wants to do anything with, with money, so it's great. Um, <clears throat> you don't need to see that. That'll just waste time. Okay. So, so basically, um, It's at, it, 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 I want to start at the bottom, really. Finance platform, as I said, is built on Mathematica. Um, we have these other um, elements to what we do, and they, you know, they all serve a purpose. So um, this is just a nice picture for you to sort of see that we do a range of things, and they all are integrated. So if you want great reporting that um, is not just like a piece of paper, then you want CDF. If you want to interact with the document and say, but what if this changed? You want CDF. Um, has anybody heard of Wolfram Alpha? Yeah? I know that not everybody puts up hands because it's a boring question to ask for you to put up your hand, but you might not know Wolfram Alpha by its name, um, but you might know it by its function. Now, um, for those people who are iPhone users, I know we have at least one person in the room, you might talk to Siri and ask Siri a question. Um, and Siri checks with Wolfram Alpha to give you a very detailed but precise answer. So Google now is starting to change so that they start to give you, as you see normally, depending on your question, you get a nice graphic or something at the top. They didn't used to do this, but then now they want to try to obviously, I don't want to say they want to compete with us, but basically in short, Google gives you a million answers of something that somebody has published somewhere at some time. Wolfram Alpha does not do that. So I'll tell you a bit more later about that. Um, system modeler that you see there is something that may not be so relevant um, in your field, but in short, if you want to, you can model systems. Great name, isn't it? System modeler. So we can talk about that another time. So today, the most important thing is that you understand Wolfram Finance Platform built on Mathematica, CDF, because that's a great way to report what you're doing, assuming you need to report to, to people. 
and Wolfram Alpha, which um, is, is a way of, of um, using com computer, it's a computation engine. Okay, so those are the things that you want to remember today. So please excuse me that, you know, I'm basically going to be, be that we have so much information here that I'm going to skip through some things and, and try to show you the most, um, most relevant for your circumstances. Obviously, hidden signals, maybe not risk analysis, you know, you can see graphics there that are an output that, um, that may be relevant to some of you. I believe that a lot of you here are, or some of you are operations people, is that, is that right? And some are in IT. So again, we, the best thing is, if you like some of what you see today, and you want to know more, we can actually tailor a presentation to suit your circumstances. Today is just a shop window, and look inside. Okay. I prefer to start on this one. Okay. So basically, these spikes represent different fields where you get very specific technology. That is all they do. If it's risk analysis, that's all they do. Okay. Um, now, we are the water that is coming up. Now, um, once upon a time, We were, you know, down at the bottom. Now, over time, this is what started to happen. We started to focus our software on covering everything. So, uh, whereas you'll get some software uh, where you, you buy the package, and then you say, but I want to do risk analysis. Ah, yeah, that's a little bit more money. Um, you need to buy that toolbox. Okay, but then I want somebody else to see that, okay, he needs to buy this and the toolbox. And then you need another toolbox. We don't do that. We basically have a Swiss Army Knife software. You don't have to use this part. You might only want to use this part. But one day you might need to use this part. Okay? And that's why we, we, we basically make it all or nothing. Whereas everybody else focuses on, most people focus on a particular area. And in fact, in time, we're quite confident that we will drown the, the remaining spikes as ours becomes, well, the best software in the world, we hope. So this graphic obviously represents um, our, our philosophy of compute, develop, deploy. All right. I like to think of it as, um, what's the problem? Why, why bother? Okay. Well, uh, the problem is that we get data provided in so many different ways, in so many different forms, and often we need to buy this piece of software to do that. But I want to report to my manager now, and he needs um, a spreadsheet, so I had better put in a spreadsheet for him. And he wants a PDF, you know, all of this sort of thing. We can put inputs and outputs to almost everything. It, it understands so many um, formats. So we take the data, and as you can see, this is, this is terminology that I don't use in my everyday. Uh, as Ivana said, I'm, I'm business development. I normally work with, with companies who know what they want. They, they have an idea of what our software does, and we help them develop their ideas to make sure that I can meet their licensing requirements. So let me just say that at the end of, of today, if you want to talk to me um, and, and Combis, my strength will be in helping you work out a solution that meets your, your circumstances, and we can talk pricing and that sort of thing. So that's why I'm not super technical. It's more about what can I do for you. So basically, as a software, we take in the data, and this data, um, we basically compute it. Now, maybe this sounds normal, but we, we work in a numeric language and a symbolic language, so, uh, and a combination of both. If, if, you want to, um, if you want to sort of um, bring in a graphic that is important, um, if you were to use some other software and say, you know, one plus an apple equals, 
it's not, it's not a, you know, what am I talking about? Mathematica doesn't stop because it doesn't understand what the apple is. It lets you use this symbol until you know what you want to do with the symbol. So there's a lot of scope for you to, to have certain variables that you're not 100% certain about. And then when you are, you can replace that symbol and then everything else will change. And yeah, uh, so <coughs> you can see um, evaluation, back office, application building. The important thing about Mathematica is that because it does so much, some people might think it's not for me. Um, I, don't, I don't need to deal with, with, with some, some data, but it does so much that actually you might use it for, um, you know, you sir over there, you can use it for, for one thing and you will use it for another thing all in the same office. You don't need to get different pieces of software. You, you don't need to understand what she's doing. She doesn't need to understand what you're doing. That's the great thing about it. So it can be used in a wide variety of ways. And of course, reporting, as I said, um, CDF is a very big technology that is probably about two years old with us now. And um, uh, ha has anybody heard of CDF? Computable Document Format. There's always one hand in the room. Um, I, I was telling you a little bit about it, and then as we go through this, I'll, I'll show you. And feel free to tell me when I'm running out of time, if I run out of time. Okay. So if you imagine um, 300 years ago or whenever da Vinci lived, I don't know, Imagine, it, you know, um, that, that paper at the top there. Incidentally, the, 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 the paper that you see at the top is actually a scanned copy of, of my boss's wife's thesis from when she was at university. But imagine instead, okay, something, some, something that Leonardo da Vinci did, okay? That is on a piece of paper. There's nothing you can do now. You can read it. You can agree, disagree, calculate what he's done, you know, follow him, but it's, it's static. Let's travel through time to today, and where, where are we? Piece of paper, okay? I wrote down a few things before. There's nothing, it can't change, obviously. So this is where CDF comes into it. And um, it basically in, lets, you, lets you work out a lot um, more than what you just see in front of you. Okay. So as you can see, visualization is an important part of our software. Um, people are obviously, they, they want to see something in, in a way that they can relate to. So we've got 2D, 3D, and of course just people like charts in a, in a wide variety. So, you know, we, a lot of this stuff that you see, by the way, we have a, a whole template um, uh, library effectively so you put in what you want to do and you say give me this and it gives you a result that um, that Mathematica thinks is the best solution for you uh, in terms of visual you're welcome to change it but often it knows what it's doing and it's right so you can you can, you're welcome to change As I said, because I'm not super technical, I've got to be careful with what I do on this page, otherwise I'll break something. Okay, but um, let me yeah. If you're going, if any of you are making notes, write down um, Wolfram Demonstrations Project. Okay. Um, our demonstration site is a, a place where people like you and me, well, maybe not me, um, would, you can upload your own CDFs. Now, this happens a lot in, in fields where people basically just want to share the work that they've been doing. And, and you can go there and see them, and, and you can get our plugin and, and basically watch what people are doing. And, and depending on, on the elements of the page, you can make changes. Okay, so the important thing is this with CDF. Um, if you want the viewer to make changes, he can. If you want to protect the document and give him certain permissions, 
you can. So there's a lot of flexibility. Has anybody seen a CDF in action? Nope. We will get there. We've got a good internet connection here, I, I hope. If, this, if, if it doesn't connect to the internet, this part is not about me, okay? So I'm just going to give you an idea. Okay. Does this look like banking related stuff? The word risk seems like the most obvious word to me. So if you do this for the first time, this is what will happen. It'll, it'll tell you, just get the free player. And you can download it and uh, you can use the plugin. And this basically means you don't have to buy anything. If somebody uh, um, has finance platform and deploys a CDF report, uh, people within the office do not necessarily need a license also uh, if they want to just view what you're doing. Again, if you want to start ma making changes and saying, oh, but what about this, what about that, then, then they would need finance platform or um, our Mathematica at the very least. But basically behind this, okay, um, you, can see it, you can see it moving. So what will happen is you will build this which can be done quite easily and again, if it seems like it might be complicated, it's very quick to learn. And then you just basically, it, it, can, it can play. And a, a thing to remember, by the way, this is not like a website where you go and you see something moving, okay? Um, this is actually calculating the time you see it. It's not pre-calculated. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in some parameters Okay, so the restrictions are on your side as the creator. You decide how big you want this thing to be. Uh, but, you know, you, you can't predict every possible question that the other person might ask. So maybe you can, and if you can, then you don't need software. But basically, you, when you create one of these, you can't predict every single calculation that somebody might want to do. So what you do is you, you build it and within, again, some parameters, which the other person can change if they want to. Um, but when you see it moving, this is Mathematica calculating right now. Okay, um, and I can, I can show you this using um, Wolfram Alpha in a moment. Now, it's always dangerous if, if I ask somebody to suggest something because it might not work. But I'm going to do it because what have I got to lose? Okay, so um, Wolfram Alpha, as I said before, um, Siri talks to Wolfram Alpha um, and other phone manufacturers and, and, and operating systems also you know, can do this. Um, I was going to mention a certain phone company that has just started using us, but I think that that phone company is not doing very well as a business, so I don't know if it's good for us to be associated with them or not. I don't know. But basically, this currently works only in English. And um, over time, we have a team of people who are curating data. They're cleaning it up, they're checking it, they're making sure that when what, you know, one can be a word, it can be a, you know, numerics, um, they're making sure that uh, 
there's a relationship between uh, measurements, all this sort of stuff. So when I search in here, it's not using Google. If we have nothing, then it will look to Google. Okay. But the thing that I ask this to do now will be the only time this has ever been asked to do this. Okay. Um, and in fact, this is why I would like maybe somebody else to suggest something. Look, it, it, it's hit and miss, guys. Okay. It might work. It might not work in terms of the exact thing that you ask. But has, has, does anybody want to ask a question in English? Seriously? Okay, let's see. Um. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. David Cameron, when, what? Can somebody give me a fairly recent historic event that happened here? But, you know, you, so I'm, I'm assuming we know who David Cameron is, okay? Whether we like him or not. I met him, he came to our office and my colleague was given the job of showing him around and my colleague didn't vote for him, so he, he didn't enjoy it. But basically, um, how old was okay? How old was David Cameron when? That's a good question, and it's not going to be in here. Mario, what was the? When when Croatia joined? Great, thank you. Let's see. Like I said, this could. Let's see what it does with this. So what it's doing right now is it's looking at everything that I said and it's, it's trying to make sense of it and see what it can compute. Okay, so currently it doesn't know that I'm talking about the Prime Minister. So I need to maybe be more, more specific about that. So it'll tell me, it'll give me some data about the names. Well, it, see, that's, that's, it's good that you should say that because I mix them up all the time. I talk about David Cameron making Titanic. Let's see. The reason, by the way, that this is, what I'm showing you here is it's looking through the data to understand who is James Cameron. It's looking at his age. Okay, it's calculating what was his age based on events, and then, there we go. Wow, James Cameron is more popular than David Cameron. Okay, so, we got this. I didn't know he was Canadian. Okay, um, it looks though as if... It's not sure about about the European Union or the re the relationship between the two. If this particular one doesn't work, then I'll move on to something else. <laughs> Sorry, what I was going to say though, uh, and then it interrupt it's interrupted me again. Okay. So. 58 years old, blah, blah, blah. What on earth? Gregorian years. Okay, so clearly this example is not the best. And whose fault is it? Who suggested it? Somebody over there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So... <laughs> Um, but don't worry, I'm comparing you to Egypt. Is that fair? 
Let's find out. So we find that actually many, many kids in school and university cheat and do their homework using this because it basically uses Mathematica. It's calculating using Mathematica. Now, it's obviously calculating words, not necessarily um, uh, um, data, you know, I'm sorry, numbers. Um, but the idea is that once we know this data ourselves and have it in there, it yeah, let me, let me, before I get distracted by this, so the, the reason that this is important to you is because this is calculating a certain bunch of data. Now, if you wanted to use this, you know, for yourselves, you would basically decide what data you, so firstly you can use it as it is, and that's just free, but if you want to have the, uh, an application built for yourselves, you could put in your own data, we will clean it up to make sure that everything actually makes sense in terms of computation. And then you can do all of this yourselves internally and you can get reports, etc. So that's how this is important. Croatia, 56, oh. Wow, Egypt was not, what should I have chosen instead? Sorry? I was going to joke about Serbia, I'm not sure if it's allowed, so, uh, you know. Yes, yes, well the, the, the example, see, I'm trying to be more complicated because the example that we normally do which is safe, one of my, my, my colleagues always does it, is how many cows are there in Scotland? You know, um, and he does this every time, I said to him, please just try something else, anything else. Change the animal, change the country, you know. But basically, the important thing here again is you're getting various forms of data given to you because maybe the question is, you know, gives you, uh, it's a nice question that can give you lots of forms of data. It's not just a one word answer. So you can then look through all of this. So anyway, I don't want to spend too much time, but the important. Okay. That's fine. I'm on your side. I'm here. I'm not in Egypt. So, you know, I'm on your side. So Croatia wins, yes? And that's the important thing. If you win, I win. So that's all right. What did somebody say? Okay. So this is something I should mention before we run out of time. Um, finance platform, which is built on Mathematica, the configuration is slightly different, which is why we treat them as separate products, and it's more expensive. Basically, gives you a Bloomberg link, provided you actually have an account that you can use on your desktop, okay? So, so the thing about finance platform is that it's one environment to do everything. Many people sort of, do this here, then they open up that to do that there, and open up this to do that. You don't have to do anything. You can basically do everything in one place. Okay, so we can do that with Bloomberg Link. We're working on having a Reuters one for version 10 of Mathematica, so we're not there yet, but Finance Platform, platform is still relatively new. Um, you have CUDA, CUDA Financial Derivatives you can use, and then basically the reporting that we do, we just have such a wide range of reporting all of this data very quickly. It's automatic reporting. Time. Where did the time go? All right, well, I, I, if we're on page nine or 14, you can see that clearly a very technical person would have struggled even more to, come, to put everything into, into the time. So the important thing here is finance platform is powered by Mathematica, okay? And you can do all sorts of technical computations. It doesn't have to all be complicated. You don't need to, un you don't need to speak the language yourself necessarily, okay? Um, you can actually just, in Mathematica, you can type in English, just ask a question in English, like Will from Alpha, maybe not so much about James Cameron, and then you can get your answer. It'll calculate and give you an answer. 
Today, as I say, unfortunately, because of circumstances being um, beyond my control, you didn't get the technical presentation which I wanted you to be able to have as well. So there is more. There is a lot more, and um, there's a lot more you can see. There's a lot more that you can sort of say, well, how does this matter to me? This is my job. Why is this an important piece of software for me? These are questions that we can answer, but currently, unfortunately, not right now. Um, so thank you very much for your time and understanding. And I'm around. If anybody needs to talk to, talk to me, and you know, I think you probably said this already, didn't you? And I just didn't understand. That's fine. So thank you very much.